Welcome to another review. Today I'm going over the Beatles Rubber Cell. I have the Stereo 2009 Remastered CD. Um, a Stereo Vinyl CD. It's a mini LP CD. And four vinyls. So first of all the Stereo Remastered CD. Uh, this album, generally, is one of my favourite early Beatles albums. Generally, very very good music on there. Drive My Car, Norwegian Wood. You won't see me, no way man, think for yourself, the word Michelle, what goes on, girl, I'm looking through you in my life, which is one of my top Beatles songs. Wait, if I needed someone, and run for your life. You know, it, this music on here is some of the best music ever. Of course, opens up like this. That's from a music video. For I can't remember, I'm not sure... If it was I feel fine I think something like that and the CD yellow parlophone it's pretty cool then of course you get a little book now the book with this one generally isn't that special it's pretty small pictures aren't that good see that has just come off of the back cover come off the back cover so I don't think much of the book in this one it's not like what you get with the past masters or sergeant pepper or even the magical mystery tour yeah they're pretty good books that one's a bit um, go over the songs first drive my car brilliant opener Norwegian Wood also considered one of the best Beatles songs that is because of the sitar in the background fantastic they done, they done that really well You Won't See Me um, that's underrated No Way Man, very good Think For Yourself, brilliant George Harrison song there The Word that one, you know, that's one of the ones on the album which is doesn't stand out too much but it's still a very good song Michelle, definitely one of the best ones of the album what goes on? That's the Ringo one. It's okay, actually. He didn't do a bad job. Girl, very good. I'm looking through you, very good. In my life, that is one of my favourite Beatles songs. Not my favourite. I don't really have a favourite, but it's definitely up there. Wait. Pretty good. If I Needed Someone, another really good George Harrison song. And Run For Your Life. A fantastic song to close the album. Fantastic. Stereo Remastered CD. they done a very good job of it. Maybe if they made a, the book a bit thicker you know but that's pretty good as well this is um, a mini LP CD so it looks like what it it's, looks like the stereo vinyl just CD version obviously um, it's a bit dark in picture stereo it's not a mono one I don't know what's up with the sleeve because I, the stereo vinyl, or the original one, didn't come in this. And it doesn't actually look like it here. And look, made in Great Britain, not China. That's something. And the, the big yellow, yellow parlor phone looks nothing like what it did on the originals. It's a bit rubbish. I really wouldn't. If you're thinking of buying this album, i definitely go with the stereo one, you know, the stereo remastered CD, because that's generally the best CD version to own. But of course my favourites are the good old vinyls, because this is what the originals were. I Generally with this album I think I've done it very well. I've got the British mono original, an original British stereo, which they're extremely rare because no one bought them because they were expensive. Um, a later British stereo on silver parlophone, which is most probably from the 70s or 80s. Mine's from the 80s because it has a barcode, but it's still a silver parlophone label. And an American capital rainbow, and I believe it's mono. So I think that's generally the best, you know, selection of vinyls to get. You know, you get them four versions. But anyway, here's the British mono. Believe it or not, I only paid four pounds for this. 
and mine isn't in that bad condition. It it, it doesn't look like it's in great condition, but it, it generally isn't that bad. Mono got a bit of writing around the mono. I think that's the only writing on it really. And it's the sleeve is completely busted, but I believe this is an original sleeve. Obviously, I reckon it's from the 60s. Com you know, look at that. I, I reckon that's definitely from the 60s. Bit of parlophone. So, I, I reckon that is a. I got a bargain there. £4. And I'd say it's worth about. I don't know, the mono, if it depends where you're selling it. If I was selling it in America, I reckon I could get, you know, four times, maybe five times the amount of that. This is the one that is worth big, big money. This is, and I got this one for free. Yeah, that's right, for free. Exactly the same, but it's stereo. And it's on yellow parlophone. Which means it's from the 60s. And my nan's friend gave me this one for free. And um, I've seen it go on eBay for about two hundred pound, and I got it for free. Um, you know, it's great. It's from the sixties because he told me he got it in the sixties. It's original slave. Yellow parlophone. Stereo. There we go. Look at that. And it's like no, as you can see. Very, not even really any scratches on it. Because uh, my nan's friend looks after all his vinyls. He has everything. He has the Who, the Beatles, but he didn't want to get rid of his Who stuff, so I just gladly took his Beatles ones. <laughs> so that one there is generally worth big, big money. I'm very proud to own that. It's great. Uh, this is the later copy of the stereo one on silver parlophone. Mine, most of the, this would have come out in the 70s, I believe, late 70s, but I reckon mine's from the 80s. Um, it has a barcode, so you know, that really lets it down. You know, I actually, I, these silver parlophone was over. I'm actually quite amazed for how much some of them go for on eBay. I watched them, you know, I was going to get a With The Beatles on Silver Parlophone, went up to £10, I was like, wow. Finally, um, this one here is pretty rare over here in the UK, but I managed to get hold of one, Beatles Rubber Soul Capital Records, and it's mono. I'm trying to see if it says it somewhere. Oh well, it's got a different song listing to the British one, I wouldn't say it's better. I'm sorry. I, I I generally believe that the British one has a better song listing. Capital Rainbow. I know that they cut Drive My Car, which is a brilliant song. That's the only you know, that's the only problem with this I think. They cut Drive My Car. And it's like, oh, why? You know, I don't understand why they actually cut that song. There most probably is for a pretty good explanation to it, but I really don't understand why they decided to go ahead and cut most probably one of the best songs on the album. But, you know, they did. So there you go. There's my review on the Beatles' Rubber Soul. Definitely recommend picking it up if you're a new Beatles fan. Go ahead, you know, get the... Stereo CD. I'd say this to any Beatle fan. Don't really bother with this unless you're a huge collector. But to people who, you know, generally are really getting into the Beatles and are really becoming interested by this group, definitely pick up the vinyls because they're definitely, definitely the better collector's items. They're worth more and they're so much better to have than a CD. Honestly, I know they're old, but they're so much more interesting and cooler. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and leave a message. Bye.